Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, I wanted to go over some of the new snakes I have lift, listed in my uh, half-off sale for the month of October. Uh, if you don't know about that sale yet, it's half-off everything in my store. Uh, that includes stuff that I just newly listed that's in the DG Clown Pied Project. Uh, the adults I have listed, everything's half off. So if you see a, a black price, that means that you need, need to take 50% off of that price. If you see a red price, that is the discounted price. Um, the way Morph Market works their sales is that every, they only can run for three days at a time. So if I activate a sale, it expires in three days. And so it goes from the red color, which is the sale price, to the black color, which is the not sale price. So I have to manually reactivate those every three days. But every the prices are good through the end of October. Um, and I just started two auctions as well. So I wanted to go over what those animals are. Uh, the first one is this uh, double het DG clown we have here. I think currently the auction's at like ten dollars. Um, so you know, there's a lot of room left for that. I think probably by the time this video posts. There's going to be roughly about a day left, I think, in the auction. Um, but he's a double het DG clown. Nothing else going on there, but, uh, you know, he can make DG clowns, and he's going to be, you know, kind of had for a pretty low price. He's a lower-end animal. Um, <clears throat> but as far as auctions go, and there's no reserve, um, so it's at $10 right now. Um, it's a pretty, pretty neat animal. Uh, this other guy we have here is also currently available in an auction. Now there's no reserve for him, um, but I am starting the auction at 250. I think that's like, honestly the bare minimum that I think he should go for. And that's even kind of low. As you can see there, he's a double head clown pied, uh, tested negative for DG. And I, I believe he's an ODYB Leo. So he's a three gene codom, a uh, double het recessive snake. Um, really powerful male, really pretty. And he has these really cool eyes there as well, too. They're very bright blue. Uh, but he has a really cool pattern. He'll age very well. This combination of codoms is like one of those classic combos that seems to age like perfection. Um, so he, uh, his auction starts at 250 but there's no reserve. So, you know, if you bid at $250, um, you are going to get him for 250 if nobody else comes in and bids on them. So uh, that's a good, uh, nice little auction there. <clears throat> now this guy, I did find out that he is not a visual DG, but he is het pied. So he is a clown, 100% double het DG pied male. I believe he's pastel red stripe and possibly even yellow belly as well. Um, there was nothing very similar to him that I could find on Morph Market. And as some of you might know, IDing some of these extra codoms when Pastel is involved in Clown can be a little difficult. <clears throat> but, um, so I think I have him listed at like 2,000. It's, I mean, it's a it's a triple recessive male. He's a visual Clown doublehead DG Pied, 100%. A couple codoms, including Red Stripe. Um, so he's gonna be a really cool animal for somebody. He's ready to go. Again, two grand. That includes shipping. So, um, it's a very, very awesome snake. Uh, very powerful. I really, really wishing he was a, uh, a, uh, a visual DG so I could hold him back, but he's not. So, unfortunately, I will not be keeping him. Uh, this guy already sold. Uh, awesome, beautiful male DG head clown. I think he's a pastel enchi possibly red stripe and yellow belly in there as well. But he already sold, so I'm not going to focus on him too much. However, his brother here, who is the clown het DG, um, I believe he's an Enchi Leopard, uh, possibly also red stripe and or yellow belly. Uh, I believe he has two to three jeans in him at the very minimum. Um, he's also 1250 ship, so 1250 That includes shipping. Um, the only other animals that are similar to him are at least double the price in, in terms of what their listings are right now. So, uh, he's going to be a giant, uh, male for somebody in terms of this project because he can make you DG clowns and he has a few jeans in him. Um, and some really, really cool jeans in the, in the DG clown project. So take a look at him. I, I mean, this male was the same price and he sold the same day I listed him. Um, obviously... Visually, he's a little more striking, 
but he's still a beautiful clown. And he's at a fantastic price. And look, these guys are really priced to sell fast. If you think about it, at $12.50 shipped, uh, shipping to a lot of places is about 100 bucks. At the very least, it's $50, $60 range. So you're basically paying $1,200 for the snake, $1,150 for this snake, uh, you know, plus the shipping. But um, all in price at $12.50 for a snake like this is kind of astounding. And this female sold basically the same day that she's listed, which is the Doublehead DG Clown. So I won't focus on her too much. Um, I What I decided to do with these two snakes here is actually separate them. Uh, these are the Pied Doublehead Clown MJ Xanthic snakes. One's a male. The one on the left is the OD Blade male. The one on the left is the female. Um, the female, I believe, is 2,000 shipped. Uh, there's only... I think one other female available and she has OD and she's like 2,500. So, uh, she's actually 500 bucks less than the next only other triple recessive snake in this project available. And he's the only male available. And on top of that, he's got two codoms. I believe I have him at like 2,500 shipped. So, um, you know, these, uh, having it at the higher price for both of them seemed to be something that was a harder, sell to a lot of people um you know being you know around two thousand dollars might be a lot easier for some people to get but this is a little, a little more attainable i should say but i mean it's a triple recessive project where there's not a lot of these snakes going around and that is enormous if you think about it supply and demand um you know it, it affects every single market and when everybody's producing the same snakes the prices of those snakes drop drastically. If you have the option, the chance to get a male in a project that nobody else has, like this male here, or a female where there's like one or two floating around, like this female here, and at a really competitive price, it's one of those projects that's worth investing in. Um, I, I, I say this all the time, and yes, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, you're just trying to sell me snakes. And I am trying to sell snakes. That's that's part of what 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 I'm doing here. But that doesn't mean two things can't be true. And that doesn't mean what I'm telling you isn't a good piece of advice. And with sunset uh, specifically in monsoon, at some point prices are going to come down. When everybody starts doing it because it's the cool thing to do, prices drop a lot faster. And you've seen that happen with sunset and what their prices are currently. When you're working on a project where it's a triple recessive project, you have three recessives. You have Clown and Pied, which are like staples of the industry, and MJ Xanthic, which is probably the, the most premier and least used and probably best aging Xanthic line. And you're buying it at the price that somebody else is selling a similar snake with a less desirable and more overly used uh, palette of jeans. It's 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 a no brainer. If these were available at this price, when I was looking to get into the project, I would have swallowed them up without even thinking twice about it. So, you know, if you're if you're looking at triple recessive exanthic clown pieds, um, you know these snakes are for you, and especially this male. I mean, in a year he'll be breeding, and he'll be able to make you clown pieds. He'll be able to make you lightning pides, and he'll be able to make you lightning clown pides. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really a no-brainer for a lot of people um, if you're looking into that triple project. Now, this guy, he's still available. I can't sell. Uh, maybe it's my salesman skills. He's in, I'm obviously in deep shed here, too, as you can see. Um, I can't sell him to people, and I can't, I can't, can't get him off the, uh, off the rack. So I don't know what's going on with him. I kind of feel bad for him that nobody wants him. Um, but he's still, I think he's around 1500 bucks. He's like a three, four, five, six gene ultra male male. Um, that is going to be an absolute stunner for somebody. So take a look at him, uh, you know, make him feel happy. We have this female up here. I believe she's an OD pied. Uh, she's head clown. And she's 50% POS head MJ. 
Uh, very competitive price. I think she's under a thousand. I think maybe around seven fifty shipped. Um, cool snake. You know, nothing too crazy going on. But if she does end up being Het MJ, which unfortunately we can't test for yet, she's going to be a, a steal at that price. And at the very worst, you have a, a Pied Het Clown female. Um, but the ability to swing for the fences and hit MJ there is going to be pretty sweet. And the last one here, um, unless I'm forgetting some other snake, is going to be this male. Uh, this is my my Breeder Ultra Male, OD Leopard, Firefly, uh, Yellow Belly, possibly Enchi male here that I got from Ozzy a few years back. He was my big... Uh, big breeder male. Let me get you focused here. Um, he's ready to go. He's ready ready for your females. He sired a ton of clutches and animals for me. Produced some of the coolest uh, ultra males and pieds that I have made. And ready for a new home. He's like 1,400 grams. Uh, as you can see, he's really pretty. On his listing, I actually have pictures of him as a baby and what he looked like. He was a one-of-a-kind snake when I bought him in 2021, and he is still a one-of-a-kind snake. And this guy made me so much money compared to what I spent on him uh, because of how complex and unique his gene set is. He's going to do the same thing for you, too. So uh, this is one of those snakes that I'd really like to see somebody pick up and utilize in their ultra-pied projects. Uh, he's 100% pied. Uh, I've made pieds. I got them from Ozzy, so I trusted that too. But he's definitely made pieds for me as well. Uh, so he's on the market. Now the last snake that, um, or snake, I don't know which one it's going to be. I'm expecting, uh, hopefully, that my full panel tests come back on these DG Clown males here. Um, they're supposed to be back today. I'm recording this on Wednesday morning. As you can see here, they are pretty unique and they're pretty stinking cool looking too. So we can test for every gene that they have minus vanilla. So in the mix, there is red stripe, yellow belly, leopard, orange dream, and vanilla. So I'm going to keep whichever one of these two has, uh, you know, the more genes, which I don't really know. To be honest, which one it is. I'm thinking it might be the one on the right, but um, we'll see when the tests come back. And um, the other one will be up for sale. So if you are, if one of these uh, DG clowns, double visual DG clowns, piques your interest, uh, take a look. They probably will not be half off. There's no way for me to do that. Um, it's too expensive of an animal. Uh, too hard to produce of an animal for me to say, hey, this is half off. So this might be the one snake that's not included in the sale. However, it, one of these two will be released hopefully today or tomorrow. So keep a look out for that. And I also have this female that is also getting a full panel done. Um, she is their sister. Now this clutch, I didn't have a guarantee of DG being passed along. So she's Poshet, DG, and Pied. So her full panel is also going to tell me whether or not she's het DG, het pied. If she's het DG, I'm keeping her because I need more of those females. If she's only het pied or not het pied and just clown, she'll end up probably getting released too. So I don't really need a female like that if she's not het DG. Maybe, maybe there's an outside chance I keep her if she's het pied. Um, I'd love it if she was double het, but we'll see. So she's getting a full panel too. All three of them were sent out to RGI. And uh, I was told they're expecting the results back today. So um, where does that leave us? We I, I don't know if anything else is going to get released before the end of the month. So that might be it, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Um, so, again, half off everything. Those snakes are pretty stinking cool. And the pricing is very competitive on them. So take a look to see if there's anything you like in this video, anything you like in my store. Those two auctions should be finished sometime on Friday. Like I said, as of right now, that one mail, um, it's the, the bidding's at like $10, and there's no reserve on it. The double hat DG clown, the double hat clown pied with ODYB Leo, 
bidding starts at 250, but there's also no reserve on that. So if you hit it at 250, it's your snake. Um, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I have those results back on those snakes before I record the next video so I can kind of talk about those snakes a little more. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys on Friday.